Hi friends, Missy Lissa here, and I'm going to be leading story time today. You'll notice that I'm not wearing a mask on my face, and that's because I'm alone by myself in a room. But remember friends, when you're around other people who are not your family, you should wear a mask. All right, so we're going to get started. Can you get your clapping hands ready? Show me how you clap your hands. Good job. All right, we're gonna sing, we clap and sing hello. Ready? We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. We wave and say hello. We wave and say hello. With the friends at story time, we wave and say hello. Can you show me how you stomp your feet? You can't see my feet, but they're gonna stomp. So let's stomp and sing hello, okay? We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. With the friends at story time, we stomp and sing hello. Good job, friends. All right, well, we're going to read some books about the weather today. So our first book is called, well, before I tell you what it's called, look, there's this big orange and yellow circle that you see up in the sky. What's that called? It's called the sun, and that's the name of our book. So we're going to read this little short book called Sun. The sun comes up. Friends, what color is the sun? It's orange and yellow. Hello, sun. Can we all wave hello to the sun again? Sun hat on. Where does your hat go? On your head. It protects both your head and your face from the sun. <gasps> sunscreen on! Where does your sunscreen go? It goes all over on your skin. Shoes off. Socks off. What do we see? Bare toes. <gasps> Clothes off. One of our baby friends decided to take all of their clothes off. Cool down. Friends, the sun is really hot, isn't it? Sometimes we just need to go swimming or run through the sprinkler or even just dump a bucket of ice water over our heads. But make sure you do that either in the pool or outside. Hello shadows. Do you see the sun is making these shadows? And look, one of our friends is using a walker. So sometimes we all use different implements, different ways of walking. So hello shadows. Uh oh, that means the sun is starting to go down. Goodbye sun. Do you see? We can't see the whole sun anymore. Goodbye, sun. The end. Let's clap it out for our first book. All right, so we are going to sing a song called Mr. Sun. So can you show me how you make your sun over your head like this? And can you show me how you make your sun shine down? on me so you do two thumbs to your chest for me and then i'm going to point out say these little children are asking you to please come out so we can play with you mr sun please shine down on me all right are you all ready to sing our song together here we go oh mr sun sun mr golden sun Please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, 
hiding behind a tree. These little children are asking you to please come out so we can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Let's sing it one more time, friends. Are you ready? Feel free to dance around your living room and really have fun with this song, okay? Here we go. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind a tree. These little children are asking you to please come out so we can play with you. Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on, please shine down on, please shine down on me. Good job, friends. And as always, if you don't feel like singing and you just feel like doing the movements, that's okay. And also a big shout out to Rafi because he has a super fun recording of Mr. Sun. All right, let's read our second story. And this one is for when those big drops of water fall from the sky. What's that called? It's called rain. And this story is called, look, it's raining. So what's our friend on the cover wearing? It looks like they're wearing a coat. So it's a big yellow coat, which means that it might be a rain slicker. So let's read, look, it's raining. It's Sunday and Camille is bored. She's read all of her books and she's tidied her box of pencils by color. No one is paying attention to her. So we've got all of her colored pencils and it looks like she's got a doll and some stuffed animals, but she's still bored. I wonder what she's gonna do. Mom reads the newspaper and dad folds the clothes. Camille could just leave the house. No one would notice. Friends, should we leave the house without telling our parents? No, we should always tell our parents when we're gonna go outside. I don't think Camille's gonna tell her parents, but let's see what happens. So Camille slips quietly outside. Friends, is she using the door? No, it looks like she's scooting her bum right out the window. Hmm, let's see what she gets into. What color is the sky? Is the sun out? Hmm, it looks like it might storm. Outside the sky is gray. It's so low Camille could touch it. Suddenly thunder roars. Camille shivers with happiness. So it sounds like she's excited that it's gonna rain, huh? Big raindrops plop onto her head, roll down her hair and face. Camille sticks out her tongue. The rain tastes like dust, like clouds. Look, she's sitting under a plant and she's sticking out her tongue to get the water, the rain, off of the leaves. On the ground, a column of ants zigzags and spins. Camille watches the little red dots. Where are you going, she asks. We're going to a show, an ant says. A show? Hmm. See, all of our ants are crawling around. I wonder what show they're talking about. Let's see. Camille runs her hands through the tall, wet grass. The strands tickle her palms. Can you show me the palm of your hand? That right there is the palm of your hand. And water splashes the tip of her nose. Friends, can you find the tip of your nose? 
She loves the plant that spreads its leaves like an octopus in the ocean. Camille's garden looks like an all green sea. She sounds like she's having a lot of fun out in the rain. On a rose bush beaded with rain, a spider spins a web. Camille studies her tangled legs in colorful spots. You are too beautiful to scare me. I'd rather be scary, the spider says. Hurry, you'll miss the show. What is this show that everyone keeps talking about, Camille wonders. So we've got our spider. Ooh, it looks like the spider caught some stuff in the web. But still, what is this show that she could be, um, that everyone could be talking about? What do you think it is? Let's read and find out. Whoa, what's this, friends? It's a tree. Look how big it is. There's Camille. And this is the big tree. Wow. Camille ponders a big tree with powerful roots. She imagines the roots running deep beneath her house, across the street, and into her neighbor's garden. Looks like there's a lot of animals in the tree. So we see some birds some little bugs. This tree is home to a lot of creatures. On the ground at her feet, Camille spots two snails crawling slowly. It's far, one said. It's long, the other said. If we had wings, we would have been there by now. Camille gently picks up a snail in each hand and places them at the foot of the tree. You see those snails? They almost blend in with the tree. What color are their shells? Green. So she's helping the snails up to see the show. Let's see. That's when Camille discovers a small shiny black thing suspended from a branch. Do you see it? What is that? It's a chrysalis. A bee buzzes in her ear. So she must be hanging out on the branch of a tree and she sees this. A chrysalis. Can we all say that together? Chrysalis. Let's find out what's inside it. Two eyes shine in the hedge. Who could it be? What kind of animal is that? It's a kitty cat. Camille recognizes them. They belong to the neighbor's big gray cat. Oh, and look, our little ant friends are here too. Look closely, Camille. The show is about to begin. What's happening with our chrysalis, friends? It's opening up. Who's coming out? Let's see. Suddenly, the rain stops. A scent of damp earth and faded flowers floats in the air. The clouds open. The sun begins to shine. And... <gasps> what is that? It's a butterfly. That's what was in the chrysalis, a butterfly. Time stops and Camille's heart tightens. When she closes her eyes, she can still see the color of the new butterfly's wings as it flies away into the bright blue sky. It is so beautiful. Where's she going? Is she going back home? And look, she even took off her jacket because it's no longer raining anymore. It's Sunday. 
and Camille is no longer bored. Look, she's looking back in through the window and both of her parents are looking at her. I wonder if she's telling them what she saw. Let's go for a walk, Camille shouts. It's silly to stay inside all day. Outside, there's always a show to see. More of our, our animal friends. The end. Look, there's our butterfly. Let's clap it out for our last story. All right, friends, we're going to sing one more song before our goodbye song, and it goes like this. We're going to practice our emotions. So can you show me rain is falling down, and then a really big clap for a splash. Ready? Splash! So we'll repeat that a few times. And then do you all know how to play peekaboo? Can you show me how you play peekaboo? <gasps> Just like that. So we're, the sun is going to peek out like peekaboo after the rain comes down. So make sure you make your splashes as big as possible, okay? So we're going to sing our song together before our closing one. And it goes like this. Rain is falling down, splash. Rain is falling down, splash. Pitter patter, pitter patter, rain is falling down, splash. All right, let's do peekaboo. Sun is peeking out, peek. Sun is peeking out, peek, peeking here, peeking there, sun is peeking out, peek. Good job, friends. All right, let's do our goodbye song. So we're going to do the more we get together. Do you all remember our signs? Who remembers the sign for more? Right? More. Who remembers together? Together. And who remembers happy? And then one more. Remember, it's our two fingers. Like they're giving each other a hug for friend. All right, let's sing our song together. Ready? The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Good job. Thank you all for joining me for story time today. Mr. Everett made this week's activity kits and they are make and break kits, which sounds really awesome. You can make a structure and then you get to be the one to break it down. So if you just call our curbside number and request one of this week's kits, you'll be able to pick it up during our curbside hours. All right, everyone, I hope you're having a fantastic week and hope to see you all soon. Let us know in the comments if you enjoyed story time. See ya!